appreciate the fall that you took. And uh, Paul Gates is going to return too, so give up for any vote. Yeah. How's everyone? How's everyone? Good! My name is Paul. I represent a group of concerned citizens of Philadelphia called the Panic Hour. Uh, I'm also the founder of a yet-to-be-named Libertarian Charm School, which will be giving classes in the spring, which will help libertarians talk to other people rather than libertarians. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to thank Philadelphia Civil Affairs for coming. Without Philadelphia Civil Affairs, free speech would not exist in this city because someone has to babysit it. So let's thank those guys for coming out. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, babysitters. Like Jim has said, crippling society, but for a long time I felt like there's no way to change this, you know? And the thing is, the rise of Bitcoin, it has really changed the actual fucking world. I mean, politicians are worried about Bitcoin. They're shutting down Silk Road, you know? I mean, we are making an impact to a certain extent. But beyond that, just money in general is what's wrong with what's going on. I mean, People worrying about consumerism. People all fucking pissed off about Duck Dynasty, whatever the fuck that is, all week long. Like, you know, the drone bombing people, you know, the economy's crashing, they're fucking arresting people for smoking marijuana, you know, uh, the, you know, you know, you know. So, just listen, fighting for freedom nowadays has become a very risky thing. I have a lot of friends that are in a lot of trouble for raising their voices, you know, right now. So we really have to stop fighting each other, you know, fighting each other on the internet, fighting each other out in the streets. I mean, we need to take this message to a larger audience. I mean, it's great to be with all you guys, but like, you know, we have to stop insulating these issues and bring them to the sheeple because they really need, you know, we need them, uh, unfortunately. So, I'm a little hungover. Last night was my last night. I enter a year of probation uh, today. I'm going to be owned by the federal government <laughs> for a year. Uh, and this is the last end of Fed rally. Let's thank Mike Salvi for getting everyone out to this because Mike works harder than fucking anyone in the town. <laughs> and really glad that he missed uh, that plane on September 11th when he was the 20th hijacker. Uh, uh, 19 was enough. 19, some bombs in the building. A detonator for seven. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the final rally here. There is the final smoke down prohibition on September 28th. I am telling you right now, do not come to this event. Do not come to smoke down prohibition on December 28th. And definitely don't smoke marijuana there, ever. <laughs> because it's illegal. Um, but look, we are making an impact. It's great to be a part of this community. Enjoy your holidays, spend some time with those you love, you know, and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'll see you around. One more time for Andy Pope. Hey, yeah, thank you, Civil Affairs Cops, for showing up and, and just playing on your phones all the whole time. That's cool. Just keep looking down. I'm glad that you didn't look up. All right, next up, listen, we're going to integrate things a little bit here. We're going to do some trivia.